Hey guys, today I got a pretty cool project to show you using the Megasquirt uh, CAN bus, both reading from it and writing to it to send information to the uh, Megasquirt as well as getting it, uh, info out of it to do things. So let's take a look at what we got going on. Right here is a Ford Fusion fan speed controller, and I'm trying to drive that to soft start a fan and do variable fan speed control. I'm using a Megasquirt 3. Now I know it has pulse width modulated tables built into the Megasquirt 3, but the car this is going into only has a Microsquirt or MS2 based computer that doesn't do that. So we have a temperature sensor here feeding into the Megasquirt, which then broadcasts over CAN. It's captured by this CAN transceiver uh, and CAN controller, which goes into my Arduino, and it, it processes that information and decides how it wants to control the fan. Um, so we're using lower temperatures here because obviously you know this is not a running engine So we have 77 here. I have the trip point set as 80. I'm going to put my hand on there start warming up the sensor And the reason I captured it through can instead of adding an additional sensor to the car is Well, obviously you don't have one less sensor, but you can also capture RPM uh, Vehicle speed throttle position and you can make other smart decisions on how you want to operate the fan Which is pretty neat. So here we're about to hit a trip point 80 degrees Fahrenheit and there's a small delay timer, and then there it goes, now we should see, and it picks up, and our fan is going, and I'm going to keep my, ho my hand on there for a little bit, um, not sure if you can hear the, uh, the increases as the sensor goes up, there it is, our fan goes up, and we can monitor, we have the correct pulse width going based on temperature, and that's a pretty slick way of grabbing it through the uh, through the CAN bus. Now the other interesting part is these Arduinos are really cheap and you get various different ones. You get a Mega which has you know, even more inputs and outputs. Or you can use these little Unos or for smaller projects, even just these tiny little Nano ones. They're real small, compact, super cheap little guys to do. And if you wanted to feed information in there, uh, let me show you how that works real quick. I have a little project over here. So I'm just hooked up a potentiometer to simulate uh, 0 to 5 volts, which would be any sort of a sensor on your car. It could be temperature, uh, pressure, you know, a, a suspension travel sensor, something along those lines. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this here, simulating a change in the sensor, and look at that over there. You see how you're feeding it right into the mega squirt. So that's pretty neat. You know, you're pretty much just limited by your imagination. You can send a whole bunch of additional things through to your mega squirt and data log them and uh, pretty easily and cheap.